Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Here is Bayan. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install a shower faucet. Use a PEX pipe in few easy steps. On the end of this video, you guys are gonna see how easy it is. Let's let's work. I just picked this up on Home Depot, Glacier Bay. Good stuff, not very expensive, but it does the job. We come here, this is the whole set. We have all the cover, but today we're just gonna install the part of the faucet. Once you look here, it indicates that this side up, the other side down. This is the body of a shower faucet. We're gonna install it right there. In this case, we're just doing the, the shower. We don't need this part because it's part is for the tub sprout so we're gonna just plug it we came with this plug so what I do put the Teflon tape I still gonna use a little bit of this compound just to make sure that we will be no leaking For other thing that I do this one first, that way I don't mistake which side is up because this one is already, we know this side is down. Up is the one who go for the shower head. For the fourth side we just do all the same way. This is the tape and this is the compound. Yeah, this helps to seal with the water. This is pretty much the same stuff except this one is a kind of liquid. Okay, let's tighten this stuff up. Next step, we're gonna install an adapter. Like you can see, this is a PEX adapter. And on this side, we have a screw in there. I just put some compound in there. Just make sure that it's real tight. Yeah, we just put it on three sides because this side we don't need it because this one it would be for the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. We finished tight the adapter and now we're gonna just uh, set up with a elbow and a PEX pipe and just gonna keep it about this size I could cut I could use this to this cutter to cut it but uh, if you don't have a a cut you just use could use the knife too just be careful not to cut your hand the 
No, I'm gonna use this uh, pressure ring. Get a buy separated. Usually they don't come as a set. And I have this this clamp in here. This is a half inch and three quarter. This you just open like this. to grab uh, on the ring so you just move it a bit back the way. Okay, you just close it there pressure it and go to the other side Push it, press it, remove it, done, sold, all right. Now I'm just gonna set it up with a few screws. It is the finishing part. It comes with uh, two holes for two screws. But here on the bar we have uh, four holes for four holes. So we just need two. Two of them we're gonna use to secure it to the wall. So it goes like that. So hot and cold so we just set up like that so we need this two holes this one and the other one so we're gonna use this other two to secure it to the wall doing the job because I need the space for the clump so I'm not gonna tie it all the way down Yeah, we just use uh, wood screws. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use a pack elbow. One of these little guys. And I'm just gonna use this for the I'm gonna put a ring, don't forget to put your ring. I'm gonna put the elbow in there. And then I'm just gonna put another ring on the cold water pipe. I'm just gonna put the other ring on the other pipe. There we go. And the other side for the hot water. We do the same. And then we put the elbow. This pipe is uh, a bit longer than what we need. Like, uh, just, just make sure usually the Hot water would go on the left, the cold water would go on the right. So this one I'm just gonna cut it right there. See, this one just easier than the knife. You just cut it, and then I put a ring. Just leave enough gap 
loose the pipe a little bit loose that way you can clamp it to the wall oh, this part here good to go once you have it there piece of cake just set up the pipes and the ring put it in Go to the other side the same way, press it, there we go, this one here is the shower head, we're just gonna put it there, now this is this piece I usually don't come with the in the box, just gotta buy them separated. Usually I pick up them on the on the supplier. They, are, they have a good price in there. So we set this guy up. shower head I like the shower head to be a little bit high not too low so I'm just gonna measure the size that I want like I like it to be a little bit higher because sometimes some taller people come to have a shower so I say about that would be good once we do the floor would be a good height about my height this is plenty height for anybody to have a shower yes I just use my finger to measure it there. Uh -huh. right there yeah I just measure about there Again, I just use this one piece to cut. Don't forget the ring. Let me just clean up this one a bit. The shower gonna be about 40 and a half by 60 so just gonna and then we're gonna have the shower door I just gonna centralize it I just gonna go 19 inches the center because once we put the door it's gonna take a little bit uh, space from a uh, from inside the shower So let's tight this one up. Last piece. Graphene shower is on place. I know that we have a uh, good to go. Nice and tight. This is not gonna move. We have that on place, we're just gonna make sure this is gonna be stay put. We're just gonna use this uh, half inch clamp. Half inch clamp to secure it in place. Make sure you have it in there. Make sure you guys use a uh, lot of this. 
because this would if it's not tight enough it will make when the water open all right yes make sure you use a lot of this guys in here otherwise the water when the water is moved it will make noise inside the wall after the wall is finished make sure that's not gonna happen we come to this side like you see this is holding tight nice and good This is important when you set it up. The finished part should be flat with this one. But some of them might be different. So in this case, it just need to be flat in there. This is just the, to protect it. And when you're doing the dry oil, just cut around it. That way you have access in the future. If you need to adjust the valve or change it you would have access to it this is how it would look when it's what we need for the finish is on the box we have a couple long screws this one we don't need it we have the shower head that we we might uh, put a better shower head This is not plastic, steel. We have the handles. Okay, I'm just gonna put this guy back that way, protect while we're doing other work, other jobs. So, this will be protected. Oh, just uh, this came with a plastic screw to hold it. Once you start ready to go, ready to do the tile, so you just remove this part. This case here, I just use different pipe for the hot and cold water, but it doesn't matter. You just have to mark it. I just happen to have some of this pipe in here, and a lot of time I like to use uh, just to have it uh, color code. This one here is ready to be boarded, put the dryer and it's good to go. Yeah, so we're just gonna leave this one like this. We still have to do a few more of those. We're just gonna leave it and then we will test everything on the end. Okay, let's keep work. We have a lot of work to do in here, buddy. Subscribe for the channel and you will see how this place will look when we're done. Thank you. Now we're gonna show you all the tools that we use to install this uh, shower faucet. And uh, would be on the link below. I'm gonna just go click through it. So and the material that you see will have link below. Yes. All right. I'm just gonna show you. This come in all was not included, so we have to pick up half inch apex elbow. We use two in there, and uh, this is the shower head for pex half inch apex. Else we pick up separated, and we use three of this adapter. Three of this adapter, this is the female for adapter for the faucet. Some of them, they are a little bit different. We need three in this case, because we don't have the tub sprout. If, if we have a bathtub, you will need four of this. In this case, we don't have it. But uh, before you buy it, make sure you're gonna check if this is the, the right one, because this is a female. Some of the faucet they come and you need to buy a male one that thread is inside. All right, uh, I can uh, I can show you the difference. Let me see if I have a 
o Anirinha. You have a male and a female adapter. So before you buy them, just check to see which type of faucet, which one would fit on your faucet. Like you see, this would go just a male and a female. On the end is all the same. You need, uh, next thing you need are those adapter. But once you buy it, just check check your faucet because some of them they use male and some use a female adapter to find out which one you need to use you have to open the box and check it and see which one you need so if you see something that you have if you have the male in here on the faucet you need to buy the female the female adapter like this is the one that we're using here If you have the end that looks like this, you would need to buy the male adapter. Look on the faucet. If it has the end like that, you buy this one. The same process, just screw it on. Yes, gotta buy, you just, they don't come together, gotta buy them separate, at least here on our area. Half inch of clamp in this case. And then we have this this other pressure clamp ring pressure ring for the PEX pipe. The eight of these pressure rings. We use a, a drill, a knife. Measuring tape, wrench, I like this wrench very good. Measuring, we use utility knife, we use the, the clamper for the ring, we use the pipe cutter. We use this dual drill, old time but to work very good so far. We use some uh, wood screws. We use the ice screwdriver. I so saw just with a uh, few wheels tools. Yes, we use this plier good one I like this guy let's work we use some teflon tape we use some compound we didn't really need to do it I just want to be on the safe side because I don't want to come back I want the job done in one shot this is just uh, I use this just for the extra precaution 